If you've played this game for long enough, you've probably seen ships that look like this with rigging that seems impossible with the tools we have in Stormworks. These obviously are not ropes. They're actually pipes. So this is a good way to get rigging on ships that doesn't cause incredible lag or air resistance that actual ropes do. Uh, and it's static. And you can do things like this weird cross, whatever this is, on the rigging. It's not actually as complicated as it seems. So let me get out an example ship of mine. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one. This is uh, one of my newer ships, and there's some pretty basic rigging on here, but let's say, for example, I want a rope to go from right here on the front mast to right to the top on the back. It's as easy as dragging a box. So in the bottom right hand, if you have uh, measurements on, when you drag this rectangle, the bottom right, it tells you its dimensions. It's one block wide, 49 blocks tall, and 82 blocks long. So I can come over to my files. Uh, well, first, let's actually go into this. This is all you need to make XML rigging. You take a block, you put a pipe on it, paint that pipe to whatever color you want because it's easier if you do it now. Then save it as some number because those show up first. So let's do this one as 100. So now I can go into my Stormworks folder uh, the easy way if you have it pinned. Or you can probably, well, you can always do the percent app data percent. Anyway, in data, vehicles, let's find our 100. There it is. So this image here is not actually what we want. We want to open this up. I like opening it in WordPad because it shows up nice and neat. So trans straight, that is the name for a pipe. This line of numbers is the thing you should be concerned with. It's in sections of three. Three numbers, three numbers, three numbers. I'm not sure which number is which on here, so you're just going to have to experiment. So let's input 49, which was our height, and then do control S to save it. Come back to Stormworks, we load 100. Oh, and it looks like that was the correct height. Next, what we do, go back to here, change one of these. These outer numbers control the tilt direction. The other one was 82, so control S, back to Stormworks, load it up, and there we go. That's our pipe. Come back to Axis Cruiser, and we load up 100 using the selection tool. Now all we have to do is drag it in place. And there you go. It's not over yet, because after you paste it, you do have to use this block to actually make it one part of the vehicle. Now, if I spawn in this cruiser, I will have a rope going from the top of the front mast to the back mast very simply and easily. As you can see on these ropes, they're not only tilted in one direction, but two. And it's pretty much the same deal. All you have to do is edit the other tilt direction. So if I come back over to our WordPad here and say I want it to be 10 blocks over in the other direction, I can just load up 100 look at it from the side, it's tilted the same. Look at it from the front, it's tilted 10 blocks over. Well, 5 blocks on the left, 5 blocks on the right. It really is that simple. All you have to do is some trial and error to figure out what the numbers are on the two direction tilted ones, but other than that, it's not really that difficult.